Computers have become a huge part of our lives nowadays. We use them every day to complete different tasks. But what happens inside to make it all work? They're basically composed of two main things, the software and the hardware. The software has all the instructions and information needed for the PC to run. This includes the operating system and the programs. The hardware is all the physical elements that make the computer work. This includes the CPU, RAM, ROM, cache, etc. But what do they all do? To make things simpler, let's imagine a restaurant. Every day the keeper comes, opens up the restaurant and warehouse, and makes sure all is ready and working correctly. The keeper in the computer is called read-only memory, or ROM, which can't be modified. To keep everything running properly in a restaurant, we need an administrator. This is the central processing unit, or CPU, in a restaurant. It's called a microprocessor in cell phones, and it contains the arithmetic logic unit and the control unit. The ALU in a PC would be the manager who takes care of the numbers and the logical part of the job. And the control unit would be the head chef in our kitchen, who organizes the incoming information and gives everyone a task. Let's say a customer makes an order. The order would act as input data. A waiter or a data bus then carries this information to the kitchen. The data then goes through the head chef who decides where it should go. The kitchen will represent our motherboard. Inside, there's a fridge where we keep everything that we use frequently for easy access. This would be called random access memory in a computer, or RAM. There's another type of RAM called cache, but this one would be like a small recipe book in which the PC keeps the frequently used instructions. There's also a warehouse with a bigger capacity where the rest of the information is stored. This works as our hard disk, and we can also get things delivered through the back door, which would act as an optical disk in the PC. These last two are called secondary storage devices. Let's imagine we also have a timer in that kitchen. Every time the timer starts, everyone starts preparing a dish, and they have to get it done by the time it reaches zero. So this keeps everything synchronized. In a computer, it would be called the internal clock. So let's go back a little bit. We get an order. The buses carry it. It goes through the control unit in the CPU, who supervises that it reaches the right destination. If we need something that has been recently used, then we can easily get it from the RAM. If not, the computer has to look for it in the secondary storage devices. Once our data is processed, now it's time for the cooks to turn it into some delicious food that we can eat. This is the task of the video card, converting data into images. This is pretty much how a computer works. Thanks for watching.